You don't need permission to live your life. Sometimes aimless driving can be very fruitful. You never know what you're going to see, what you're going to find. Going down a rural highway in northern Arkansas, I've gone through lakes, I've gone through river valleys, I've been on a ridge in which a valley was on both sides. Got to enjoy the springtime, the leaves are becoming full down here, the sun is getting warmer. In the background, we got a river. Then there's a uh, trestle for a, a train and a highway over there. And we're just standing up here on that ridge, smelling, feeling the air. Springtime, wood smoke, freshness, freedom. I wouldn't have done anything like this except that I was getting so stir crazy after three and a half weeks of sitting inside. Sitting inside in Michigan with snow, with rain, with 40 degree temperatures, clouds. And I was very apprehensive about doing this. I had plans of doing it on a Thursday. Finally, by the time Friday came around, I was determined I was going to do this. Sometimes I still think I'm crazy. But sometimes you gotta be a little crazy in order to stop from going crazy. And sitting around in Michigan will drive you crazy, especially when you can't go to work. Gas was cheap enough, so why not, right? With very little money, I'm able to travel all the way down here and enjoy something I've never seen before. You just gotta learn to think outside the box. So the amount of money I'm spending is very minimal. And yet I'm experiencing something that I would never have done if I had just sat at home. Maybe you don't have the ability to drive 11 hours from your house to go to some place you've never seen before. But I'm sure there's plenty of things around your house that you haven't been to and seen before. How about that park? How about a couple hours drive? Another thing is to not make excuses. Before I would always use my family as an excuse not to do things. No more. Of course now I don't need to worry about that, but that's beside the point. You don't need permission to live your life. You have to give yourself permission to live your life and give yourself permission to stop anyone from trying to stop you from living your life. Or to put better, you don't need permission to live your life and you have the right to ignore anyone who's trying to stop you from living your life. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of anyone else. All too often we spend so much of our time trying to take care of other people that we forget to take care of ourselves. And it comes down to the principle of only the strong can protect the weak. Only the rich can help the poor. Only the blessed can bless others. So it's up to you to determine which side you're going to be on and to act appropriately, to take care of yourself first so that you can take care of others. To put your mask on first as that plane's going down so that you can help someone else get their oxygen mask on. To take care of your mental health. The fulfillment of some of the things that you need to do to be true to yourself in order to be able to help others fulfill their lives as well. And I'm so glad I had the courage to go out and do it.